What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Zay. Um, in today's video, we have a lot of plans. A lot, a lot of plans to do today. We are gonna be working on the FRS for some Spring Fest El Paso prep. We have a huge show this weekend, March 15th in El Paso. We're gonna be working on the car today. Uh, we're gonna stop and take Adriana for some food, and we're gonna stop and hang out with Mike at the shop because he's gonna be working on the wrap. So first things first, let's go get my girl some food and go from there. Where are my keys? All right, <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. Most of you guys are like, why are your tail lights on in the middle of the day? Well, when you got tail lights that are broken hearts, you just want to flex them all day. I only turn them on because it's just Like I said, let's go get some Krispy Kreme because what girlfriend doesn't like some dough? All right, guys, here we are, home of the glazed, or I don't know. I don't know. If, what's Krispy Kreme's slogan? Slogan? Slogan. <laughs> Logan. <laughs> Logan. <laughs> what? It's Krispy Kreme's slogan. If anyone knows what that is, leave a comment down below because I don't know what it is. But I know it's gonna make my girl happy, so let's go do that. Uh, uh, uh. Get in there. Perfect. There's so many options. Le bag is secured, boys. Oh, I can't forget my hat either. Oh yeah, this is the move, boys. I'm currently being watched while I vlog, but I'm not gonna take you guys inside because I'm gonna deliver these and I don't know, I don't want you to know where my girlfriend works. So, I'll see you guys in a second. All right guys, so the bag is secured. Happy wife, happy life. The donuts are delivered. So now that that is done, we're gonna head to the shop and start working on the car. Um, we're gonna fix some things that need to be wrapped. We're going to uninstall the flares. I'm gonna drive the car all the way to Texas. So I'm gonna take off the flares, rewrap some things in the car, maybe in install like some canards or something like that. But uh, yeah, guys, stay tuned and let me know what you guys think of the video. We're gonna go and hang out with Mike in his shop, like I said. So let me know if you guys like that warehouse vlog vibe. Let me know what you guys think and keep me posted. Is he in here? Yeah. Yeah, he's in there. Mike from Revive Raps. Hi. I bought you some nectar. You're welcome. Ooh. It looks so good. It feels so nice in here. All right, guys. So we are now at Mike's shop. Right now, he's finishing a project before we bring the FRS in. But right now, we're gonna. Oh. We're gonna get all the parts out and go. Get started on this. All 
All right, guys, so I hope you liked that time lapse of me bringing all my junk in. But the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some body work on the FRS. We're gonna fix one of the flares, sat down the fiberglass and see if we need to do any bondo work. So here's another time lapse for you guys. All right guys, so we just did finish sanding down the fender flare with 2000 grit, 80 grit, 60 grit. We we're practically just taking down the fiberglass from the bulk that I had put on originally. So I had asked Mike for help. Um, the structure looks good. Right now, I think we have to fill some like ridges in and some holes with some Bondo, but let's go ahead and get a look at what I was actually working on. So right here is like the original startup. Um, I had packed on the fiberglass pretty high and pretty like, thick you would say but so much it looks pretty good um we went from 80 to 60 here and then like the 2000 up here to get these ridges out um but i think we're go, gonna go ahead and work with some bondo now to go ahead and fill like all these holes in but other than that maybe a couple bondo layers sanding it down and then we should be perfect ain't nothing better than a brand new can of bondo All right guys, so we figured out that, well not we, I figured out that hardener is not forgiving. So make sure you measure out your hardener and your Bondo because it dries pretty fast. Um, let's go ahead and give you guys an update on how the Bondo looks right now. So from the time lapse you guys saw, this was the first layer I did. It hardened so fast, but the second layers, all the holes are covered now. So we're gonna give this about 20, 30 minutes to dry and then we're gonna come back in here and hit it with 120 and see how it goes from there. All right guys, while the Bondo is drying, we're gonna go ahead and go outside and mock up these front canards to the bumper and see if we can install those today. All right guys, I do apologize for the shitty tones and the bad glares, but what we're gonna do is, we, like I said, we have four canards here. We're gonna mock them up, go ahead and see how they look before making any drills riveting them into the body. All right guys, so I thought I could eyeball the canards and their placement just by kind of coming back here and seeing if they were straight. Unfortunately, I don't think I dialed it in. So we had Mike come in and bring the tape measure, be my second set of eyes. And I definitely think everything is lined up now. Um, we kind of squared it where, yeah, the measurements are perfectly on point, but like one of those is giving me a little bit more space. So I'm just gonna have to drill it and then rivet it in and then kind of bring it more together. But I definitely think, if you guys can kind of see here, that they are pretty much aligned up perfectly. But I already know one of you guys is gonna be like, oh, the left side's higher, bottom right is two down. Yeah, I already know. But I think that's a good enough spot. Let's go ahead and mark these and then get these riveted in. So right here, Mike gave me one of his wrapping pencils and he said that, kind of just drill in there, in there, a riveting point. Oh. And in here, oh, oh, down to my roots, and then in there as well. Boom. We'll go ahead and take those off, and then drill them out, and then rivet them in. So we have the first hole, second hole, on um, the bottom one, 
the two on top going to the right side kind of the same thing I made these little indent marks um, no I don't have enough time to take everything apart take the bumper off so what we're just gonna do is kind of go in there blind and start you know doing doing some things Remember kids, lock your grill. Boom, all the holes are drilled and so on, so forth with the right side. Let's go ahead and get the rivet gun and rivet the canards in the car. Boys doing race car things. <laughs> you know, just do the one, two, usual. Cool. Shout out to We Are Likewise. All right, boys, both cars are in. The reason we put mine in is because Mike's gonna work on it throughout the week. And that's his project leaving tomorrow. But little update, the canards are in. All riveted down, all ready for this weekend. Right side of view. Um, little update on the Bondo. Bondo is drying, it's still a little too wet to work with, but it should be ready to be sanded and wrapped by the end of this week. Today's vlog. Right now, me and Mike are stuck in traffic. Mike's taking me home, not only because we live five minutes away from each other, but the FRS is at the shop. Mike, something motivational, go. On the spot, motivational. Pitter patter, let's get out of That's what Mike would say. That's actually a slogan in Josh's house. All right, guys, a um, couple updates. This weekend, March 15th, is Spring Fest in El Paso, Texas. Me, Adriana, all the boys from Mexico are gonna be out there. If you guys see us, see the Ratchet School Bus, say what's up. Um, another thing is, by the time, hopefully by the time I load this, I will still be competing to be in the Paz Mag Magazine. Um, Tuna Battlegrounds is hosting a big battle right now that I'm competing in. I think it's me versus five cars, four cars, something like that. Um, if you guys want to keep up with that or go vote for me, I will leave all that information in the description or you can go check it out at my Instagram, Zay Lucero. Um, huge shout out to Mike for letting me use the warehouse today. It was fun doing a co-vlog collaboration thing. Um, I think that's about it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Don't let your dreams be dreams. I totally agree with that. But like I said, huge shout out to Mike and everyone else that helps me. But with that being said, no matter how far you get in life, to always remain humble and always try to make a difference. Deuce!